a V Bodybuilding Show down here at Thunderbird Paseo Park with Marcus Haley. I'm down here to do a testimonial on some of his uh, out of the out of the gym training kind of yeah. different stuff. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it goes. Uh, what are we going to do today? Um, today, um, basically, what we're going to do is a little bit of agility, some uphill stuff. We're going to use some of the ladders that I used to use in football, and I kind of incorporated it with some of the uh, lower movements, time under tension. So we're going to put the girls through kind of a run. This is like some of these girls are coming off contest time right now. So basically, what I'm doing is kind of loosening them up, getting the water back out of them before we actually really get into some of the really hard, grindy exercises. Right, right. Well, I hope I can make it through this cardio session. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll uh, update you after. Thanks. Peace. Bodybuilding show in the aftermath of my agility training with Marcus Haley and the comments. Girls, you guys killed me out there. Essie, you demoralized me. Oh. <laughs> Trying to keep up with Kendall. I'm halfway up the hill and here comes Essie flying by me. Um, I did some uh, a testimonial down at Orange Theory Fitness. This is every bit, if not harder, probably harder because of the team atmosphere. That's, that was really cool, ladies, how awesome. you guys you. are motivating each other, motivating me, and welcome me, the new guy, I guess my, I'm Mike. <laughs> Mike <laughs> but anyways, let's start with you. What's your name? Erica. Erica, what do you think about this? I, I enjoy it. It's my second time with them, and I have I enjoy the team effort. Yeah, I, did, I, I thought that was pretty it. impressive. They encouraged you the entire time. So compared to your first session, was this harder or easier? This was a little easier. I had a tougher time the first time. I had a lot more problems. That's what they keep telling easier. me. They're telling me, hey, this was easy today. <laughs> this is not one of our harder ones. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> I, I hate to commit. I, like, maybe I'm lucky that I got the easy you one You are. Today. The first one I did was really hard. He did the centipede. It was oh, like, that's what we were talking about after. And what's your name? I'm Amanda. Amanda, what do you think about this? I love this. This class keeps me motivated. I've been doing it for about six months. I've lost 52 pounds. Woo! Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marcus, you were telling me when I interviewed you the other night at Fitness One, you talked about her, didn't you? Yeah, she's, uh, i tell you what, man. Like I said, she's one of the ones. that She's one of the heart part of the team, man. I'll tell you. Is she the one that you said, uh, you know, you couldn't break her? Yes. Yeah. I could not make her. Yeah, I couldn't no. break her. Talking about your yeah. I've got this girl. She's so determined, and I cannot break her. So congratulations, Thank 52 you. pounds. Yay. That's a great. Yay. Thing. So I love the this team. What's the ultimate goal for you? I just think overall fitness and just keeping that positive attitude and motivation for life, man. Good. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you three look like you're like just did a show or getting ready for a show. <laughs> just did a show. Just did a show. Yes. What's your name? I'm Jane. Jane, what yes. show did you just do? Um, I just did the NPC. Arizona Open? Arizona Open, yes. Oh, good. Yes. And how'd you do? I got second in the Woo! Masters. Woo! Woo! Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Very, very tough class. It very was. tough show overall, too. Exactly. Those girls looked amazing. So, But Marcus got me ready. You know, what I think is interesting <laughs> is that, you know, I'm you know in tune with all the different training teams in the Valley, you know, AZ Pro, right. STS, and, um, you know, what he's doing with you girls is, is a lot different. Absolutely. That's why I came here today, today to find out more about it, and... Uh, mm -hmm. Now I see why you guys look the way you do. Absolutely. He actually transformed my lower body. That's really? everything. All the feedback that I always got from all my shows was that you need to work on your flat, your hamstrings and your glutes. And that's why I came to our business. Right. Yeah. Essie, I don't think you need to work on anything. <laughs> By the way, Essie, look for her on the V Bodybuilding Show. I just woo, interviewed woo. her backstage at the AZ Open after she captured the overall title in women's physique. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you relishing mm -hmm. that win? I am, that I mean. am, I definitely am, but at the same token, we always have areas of opportunity, and it was definitely a great um, taste for me, and I'm definitely ready to continue to train really hard with Marcus and continue our agility, and if, if anything, I just love being able to connect with all of these women, uh, because at the end of the day, it's our driving force, and uh, this sort of thing definitely makes you stronger, it definitely breaks you, but it makes you stronger, so yeah, totally excited. Absolutely. That's good, well, good answer. I commend all you ladies, but especially after doing a show, and not getting that rebound effect, but, which I see. He wouldn't let us. Let's talk about that. But no rebound yeah. effect. He would not let us. Yeah, I'm going to have yeah. to have you go ahead and move your desk to the back of the class. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, that's the whole accountability piece of it. So it's not just the show. It's not just this. But at the same token, having a coach that's going to hold us accountable. Mm -hmm. And we know if we try to do too much, right, he's going to come and kick our butts royally. So um, I think that, for me personally, it actually helped me stay on track and not to rebound because I'm deathly afraid of Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am too now. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. yeah. Kendall, you know, my savior guided me here. I had like three different Thunderbird Paseo parks that I went to this morning. And uh, Marcus put me on the phone with you and you guided me right in here. Are you from the West Side? Oh yeah. I live half a mile from here. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's your role on this team? You seem to be, you know, like, are you just here for fitness? Do you, do you compete? I did compete this past weekend as well in the uh, AZ Open. Open and yeah, that's 
So modest. She's so modest. <laughs> yeah, she's not humble at all. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do on the show? I did okay. <laughs> Just you won. Come on. Yeah. So congratulations. Thank you. What's Thank next? Uh, Nationals eventually. I think um, I plan on taking a little bit of time just to really work on the areas that need improvement. So. Okay. Yeah. Who do you look up to in the IFBB as a figure from? I don't know. I, like, I do like Nicole Wilkins. Quite a bit, so. She's blonde, she's buff, yeah. 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 she's tall, <laughs> she likes Nicole Wilkins. I picked the blondes, there you go. <laughs> right. I like Alicia Coates. Yeah, right. I, was I, a, I absolutely yes. love Alicia Coates. Yes, her. She's been on the show like five her. times. Yes, I love her and I've met her a couple times and she's, she's sweet. yes, very sweet. So. And she, I think she has that look, it's a different look, you know? Yes, than very athletic, very, yeah. yes. Yeah. And how about you and the women's physique? I mean, I guess there's only one above you. It's DLP. I mean. Absolutely. I absolutely love her. I love what she actually brings to the table. I think she's definitely an inspiration to many, many women. And um, I, I, I love that. She is the representation of what physique should look like and is. And yes, if there's anyone that I watch and stalk, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I interviewed her at the, uh, at the LA Fit Expo. And she wasn't getting ready for anything. And she was just pulled up her shirt, she's dialed in. And, you know, I asked her about having that conditioning year round and how she's expected to look the way she does on stage. And she says, you know, being a pro, I feel like that's my obligation to the public is to look like this. This is my job. And I never heard a pro talk talk like that before. So uh, DLP, great answer on that one. Awesome. Uh, Marcus, anything you want to say to, to uh, anybody who wants to come down here and train or find out more? Well, anybody that wants to come down, you guys can find us on Teen Comet Fitness. Uh, you can get us on our Facebook or you can get us on our Instagram. Um, any of these girls, um, you know their names, they're very, very approachable. You can contact them on Facebook and they'll be happy to guide you towards us. Um, there's no superstars on this team. We are really basically a big family, so don't be intimidated. But do, but really, when you come here, bring your ass to work. Absolutely. Got that. <laughs> Got that. Well, guys, thank you guys for having me. Look for the second uh, part of the Marcus Haley interview from Fitness One. We did earlier this week. We're going to put them all together this weekend. So thanks again to Marcus Haley, uh, Team Comet, for having me out here today and to do this testimonial. Thank you. Wonderful Thank you. job. Wish you the best of luck. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Also, I want to throw a shout out to Pro Subs, My Oatmeal, Six Pack Bags, Metroflex Gym, Ride Now, and Swole Swag Watches. Peter Jungle, did I say that? I don't know if I didn't. You did now. I just did. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Like it, tweet it, share it. You know it. Thank you. What's up, V Bodybuilding Show brought to you by Pro Subs today on location at Fitness One down at 91st Avenue and Union Hills. This place is awesome. If you're looking to get in shape, you're on the west side, you want to join a bodybuilding team, do a bodybuilding show. A lot of great people here. One of the people that trains his Haley's Comets out of this location is IFBB Pro Marcus the Comet Haley in the house. Thank you for finally doing the V Bodybuilding Show, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Uh, we got to hang out at the uh, at the uh, AZ Open. Yeah. You and I watched it. You, know, you had a lot of success at the show. Yeah, definitely a good time. Uh, had some competitors there that placed well. You know, so I was happy. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, some great competitors. And I uh, actually got a chance to interview your women's physique overall. Yes. And uh, what, who taught her proposing? Now, I have a feeling maybe you might have some influence on that. I might have had a little bit of yeah. you know, hand in that. Yeah, you know, um, she's just a really good athlete, man, when she came to me. You know, she was just real open to learn everything, and uh, you know, just one of those athletes that if you tell her to go left, turn right, go up, go down, she does. She does. Yeah, and that's the best kind of fun you can have. So yeah, she's not like, well, can I substitute peanut butter for avocado? You're like, yeah, you know, that that's it. Yeah, so that's that's it. yeah, it made it, and she made it easy. Like I said, she had her moments. You know, like if anybody when it gets hard, you know, it gets hard. But I can tell you, man, I, I have, I couldn't ask for a better, better client and a better outcome. Yeah. So those of you, if you don't know who I am, BB Pro Marcus Haley, that comment Haley is, you're living under a rock. I say that at like every other episode. But the dude won uh, 2007 uh, posing award at the, uh, what was that, the Arnold, Arnold Classic? Yeah. That's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, thanks. Pretty thanks. awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, Great experience. Up. You had a hell of a year. Your, uh, your pro uh, debut was uh, Iron Man? Yeah, my pro debut, um, actually, uh, uh, Iron Man was second. My pro debut was called on a pro. Oh, uh, Sean Kent was first one out in Denver, Colorado. Uh, and uh, we got placed third there, uh, third and fourth, and then uh, went on to the Ironman, uh, placed in the top five. I had uh, my first couple shows or top three, top five, so it was a good run. Well, I was 
watching, I told you before the interview, I was watching, I was trying to find this footage actually, I wanted to talk to you more about it, of you and Dexter Jackson just going back and forth, bantering back with each other, giving each other crap. You can tell you guys are pretty close friends. Yeah, yeah we, me and Dexter have been close for a long, long time, and we're still close now. Um, back then in Florida, man, like he's one of the first uh, you know, pros that I had met down there. They took me under the ring, you know, I, I was at Daytona at the time, and I would drive from Daytona to Jacksonville. I spent a couple of days there with my family and everything like that. And we became like brothers, man, this little competitive thing. It was from, I mean, we'd have these, uh, basically these uh, PlayStation battles in football, bro, oh. and then we'd go to basketball, and then we'd go into freaking bodybuilding and training, and who could be the most weights and reps. And, and it was just cool, cool camaraderie and uh, a cool little rivalry. And it still, it still goes up, it's a lot well, he's still competing. Yeah. I know there's rumor, rumors whispering around Marcus Haley that it might be coming back. Now, are these rumors, any truth to these rumors? Um, maybe, you know, um, things have been good. My health has been good. Everybody knows that when I retired, I had cardiomyopathy. Um, but we got it under control. Um, we got it under control. Um, I'm, I'm actually really healthy at this point, so I'm thinking about it. About it. Um, well, you look fantastic. Yeah, just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> From hey, Marcus Haley, the comment on stage soon, maybe battling out against his old buddy uh, Dexter Jackson. And actually, you you, uh, I mean, you turned uh, you got your pro card at uh, ninety no at the uh, nationals. Yeah, first place as a super heavyweight. And uh, and then got edged out by Phil Heath for the overall. Yeah, it was uh, actually what happened was um, we ended up doing the. Uh, uh, Phil Heath got, fir got first. Um, um, uh, uh, another guy, light heavyweight guy, got in the second car, and I was right behind him. And I remember I was just so distraught because I just knew I thought it was me and Phil. And I knew Phil was going to win it. You know, I saw this guy, um, the junior nationals, like a couple weeks before, and I looked at him and I was like, holy oh, crap. <laughs> I saw this guy come, I was like, man, I'm having a hard time. So, you know, after that, you know, we got to the USA and fought for you. So, uh, um, and um, you know, after I went backstage, man, I was just like, you know, I was just broke down because I, mean, I had done, you know, from first and seconds and seconds and thirds and seconds, and I was so close, and I was just like, man, what do I got to do to win this damn thing? Uh, and of course, you know, I went on to the uh, North Americans, and then um, you know, I finally won it. But at that point, I had placed first as a super heavyweight, you know, and since right. I had the card and placed second as a super heavyweight, um, you know, I actually had dominated two classes during my reign as an amateur. Uh, and the class. Wow. Yeah. Well, I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's really, you had quite a journey to get your pro card. A lot of these guys get in there and they, you know, they yeah. get in and out and you see a lot of, especially, you know, men's physique and women's bikini and even women's figure, you know, they yeah. get in there two or three shows and here you are, yeah. you know, dominating there and you're just missing it. Yeah, so it you kept going, I mean, for the love of the sport and obviously great determination and dedication. Yeah, yeah I've been grinding for a while. I mean, it's, I think nothing's really been easy for me. I've kind of been used to that. Well, let's talk about that for yeah. a minute. When he says nothing's been easy on him, uh, the dude grew up taking care of his four uh, younger brothers. I don't know if they're all younger. Yeah. Um, his mother had some issues. I don't know if you want to talk about that. But I think that's quite a success story. Yeah. And, you know, adversity makes you stronger. What, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, sometimes I like to say what doesn't kill you F's you up forever. But, uh, <laughs> that's just me. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. What didn't kill Marcus made him stronger as a person, as a bodybuilder. Would you touch on that? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, uh, my mother had uh, a lot of uh, guys from the inner city. She was struck down by uh, you know, the pack of the um, And it just really decimated our family. And, um, you know, for a while, it was just me and my brothers. I had to take care of them at a young age, you know, so I kind of had to grow up. And, of course, um, the judicial system came in and took us away. And I became a foster kid at that point. All my brothers were all separated. Man. Oh, wow. Um, and actually, I, I found my other brother by uh, high school football. They had the high school football. He was in Louisiana, and I was in, in Nevada. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And how far apart were you guys? Yeah. Um, well, I was, he was a sophomore when I was a senior. Okay. And we made the reconnect. And uh, my brother underneath me actually um, was in a, they call it Elko, which is uh, kind of a boys' little camp. Uh -huh. And they actually sent him to Columbus, Nevada, where I went to high school at. And my senior year, me and him ended up being on the same football team. And that's all coincidence? Yeah. <laughs> Everything happens yeah. for a reason. You know, that's 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 an awesome story, man. So, yeah, everything was good. I'm not going to I mean... Well, let's talk about the football. I know that, you know, you've done a lot of interviews yeah. in your career. Yeah. Talking about, you know, being a, uh, you know, uh, getting a scholarship and going off to school. And, you know, being a collegiate athlete. Well, how was that experience for you? Um, you know, that was something that I'll always remember. And, you know, you've got to 
like that from high school football, but well, even like college football, you know, um, just getting up there and going into this place that I didn't even know. I didn't even know I had a scholarship at the time. Um, it was my coach's school, um, and they had been recruiting me since I was uh, a junior of that year. And, um, you know, the last game of the season, we um, ended up losing that game. And um, I came back to his house, and he had to fight into his house. He said, I got something for you. And I got there, and the recruiter was there. Wow. Yeah, and he's like, I'm going to like the biggest full ride. You know, and I knew then it was my first game. Yeah, that's your ticket, right? That's my ticket out. So um, I went to South Dakota, and I played football there. I um, had a good few years and years, and I learned a lot. And, um, you know, I came back down to uh, Nevada and got into the body of yeah, well, I, you, you always like Sean Ray. Yeah, big fan. Uh, so you're a big fan. Did you get to train with Sean Ray up and coming? Yeah, when I first moved back to uh, to Vegas, it was funny. Sean would come in to Vegas every once in a while. He had a condo out there. He'd come in every once in a while and train with some of the guys. And uh, first time I saw him, he started. But the first thing I said to him was, hey, Sean, man, you know, don't be taking it take first when they a bunch of cats. That was the first thing I said to him. Really? Well, no, I was a star at the time. And Sean was like, yeah, man, whatever. Right, that's Sean. Yeah, yeah. That's Sean for you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> you know, fast forward a couple of weeks after that, he started, um, you know, uh, coming down to the room more often, you know, he's waiting for the training. So, he knew I got the train. And um, so, you know, we just went at it, went at it. And by then, it was cooked. You know, I, I would hate for him to come into Vegas and, and call him when he was there. And I'm like, wherever you're at, you know, he called me, and I don't care if I was working or not. I leave the office and I work and I go and work and train with Sean. That's awesome. That's awesome. So he's a huge uh, guy who's like your guy you look up to. Maybe the guy that's inspired you to yeah. put the Posey oh, trunks on, you know what I'm Definitely he was one of the main inspirations um, back then when I was an amateur. I mean, Sean has watched me grow from my first body to all the way up. So he was definitely one of the first, and my cousin Melvin, of course, too. But um, Sean was definitely one of the first uh, guys that I was actually training with. But my first trainer was a woman. Yeah, uh, with just what? Just the first name? Gabrielle. Gabby. 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 Yeah. Gabby. Yeah. She. She. she uh, actually, I went to Gold's Gym, and I was like, um, I want to. I want to be a bodybuilder. <laughs> now I'm sitting six foot one. I lost muscle tone. He goes, you got good legs. So we'll see what you got. Yeah. So he took me over my legs and absolutely destroyed me. And um, you know, I basically just sucked up everything she had to say, and she taught me a lot. And then um, she she also handed me over to Frank Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Frank Miller. Yeah. I did my first actual diet where I actually I didn't use you know, Big Mac French fries to carve up. I was going to talk about his first competition where he placed in the top three. He carved up with McDonald's, French fries, yeah. rice, yeah. and burger patties. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you got third place. Yeah. Talk, you know, people talk about the gift all the time. You're gifted genetically yourself. I didn't understand what I was doing at the time. And, and so they told me, hey, you got carbon potatoes, so I carved up. And, uh, <laughs> but they were French fries. But um, I learned. My, I learned. You know. You learned. Uh, you know, I had my first real diet. I thought I was going to die. You know, Frank Miller man got me in shape. And I won the Mr. Nevada um, as a heavyweight at 201 pounds. Nice. So, yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was shredded. And it was a good show. And after that, I realized, okay, your ass really wasn't dieting. This is a diet. <laughs> right. So yeah. And after that, man, the rest of you know, the Yeah. Once you get your body in that just perfect state, you know. I don't know, I think it's easier to get there, but you really don't know what it's like, what it feels like, or any of that until you know, when you, once you get there, it's like you keep looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like, is that really me? Yeah, exactly. Did you do that? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the mirror is my best friend. You know, I, know. I could walk past the mirror, I just walk past it and go, hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I just I went to a, when uh, Freedom Fitness, when they did their grand opening and they expanded, uh, Rich and Brian over there, I was walking around, he was giving me a tour. He's like, so what do you think? And, you know, like, oh, that's not nice, man. Like, what any suggestions? I said, yeah. More mirrors. <laughs> kind of a joke, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and me never have enough mirrors. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like a bodybuilder's best friend. Yes, exactly. exactly. That's right. So, uh, what, what else is new with, with you besides um, the personal training? I know you're busy with that. How do people get a hold of Marcus Haley? Do you have a website? Um, you can go on my Facebook, you know, I can be at, um, you know, MarcusHaley.com, my website. I'm also H um, and we have, I have a team. Uh, called Team Comic Fitness. Um, we, uh, right now, basically, it's a lot of agility, stuff that's outside the box of um, you know gym training style. Some things I learned from football, um, I incorporate that. I a lot of glute hamstring training for girls, like that. So, um, just go to Team Comic Fitness, and you can find me right there. And of course, you know, if I'm here at Fit One, I'm always here. This is my home. So, you know, when you talk about your team now, is that the team that I saw at the yeah, show? Yes. Yeah. And so. 
you're doing kind of outside the box training. That's interesting because most of the time it's it's definitely inside the box. You can't see outside the box and you're Marcus Haley, I mean, your girls look like they're doing, you know, the traditional bodybuilding, but you got them doing different they, stuff. They, huh? they do a combination of both. I haven't been really training, but we go outside, we do like time under tension, um, agility type training, sprints, um, we do, we run the hills. I mean, right now we're, doing, we're starting to do some stuff that we do with speed skating, the type of training speed skaters do, because you're always low. Yeah. And that, if you look at speed skaters, they always have very, very good glutes and very good hands for your legs. So I'm incorporating that type of, type of training into this type of sport. And what is what I'm seeing now is absolutely phenomenal, um, you know, you know, feedback and the bodies are changing. Um, the glute can't take time and so uh, I'm definitely gonna keep pushing up, pushing the flow, yeah. doing things that are just kind of out of the box that you really want to see. Well, yeah, that's taking it to the next level and uh, thinking outside the box for sure. I wouldn't mind. Is that something I can do? Because yeah, I definitely anybody, anybody can do it. And I try to do it with something. Let me just tell you, though, that shit hurts. <laughs> I was like, sometimes I'm going to be doing it with girls. I'm like, oh, you're not going to do it. Well, if you, if you think about it, it really is the best butt contest, whether you're a, a woman in figure, a bikini, or a guy in the men's open bodybuilding. Yeah. I mean, if you turn around and you, know, you don't have anything going on, you might not even be in that top five. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gifted down here. Your legs are well, My legs and glutes and everything have always been something that I've had, you know, from um, you know, the That's something that they always look for um, as far as the detail. And that's the first thing that goes wrong with anyway. You know, so um, definitely it's it's for my business from a standpoint. It just it was a good move to actually kind of figure out what exercises that I could utilize that with most of the Yeah, I like what Marcus just said there. Fun and intense. A lot of this training gets so redundant and repetitive that it's not fun. So if you're making it fun, keeping it fresh, yeah. I'd like to check it out. Yeah, I mean, any, anytime. If we, we do it, uh, Julie, now we're going to have it on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's going to be at 7 30. It's going to be here at Big Corner here. And then Saturdays, I usually switch it up. I'm in the River Sale Park on Little Hill, on 101. Big Down, let's go straight up. That's Thursday. On Saturday. Oh, Saturday. We run that one. Yeah, that's we call it Baby Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the serious yeah. name? <laughs> yeah, so I run, I run kind of a snake drill. Uh, it's, it's a little fun. Right. Yeah, so it's, like it. it's pretty damn fun. Like, girls, uh, these girls now, they've become such great athletes. Um, man, the conditioning is really out of this world. Um, I mean, if they're the heart rate and just how they recover. Uh, I've seen some of these girls now, you know, before they started. It's just crazy. They come to the gym, like I really train them, and it's almost impossible because the heart rate we have is so fast. And it's definitely been working on for the last, you know, five, six months. I've had to work for five, six months. And, um, like I said, I'm uh, just I'm ecstatic and what they look like now. I'm really, I'm really itching. You should be very proud. Well, I'm really itching down to see exactly, like I said, but I'm trying to teach myself, you know, as a trainer or as someone that's in the science field, I can never be too old. Spoken from a pro. Um, we're so, you were, for the longest time, you were like the front guy for a I've been doing it for about nine years, maybe ten years. We still we left some great terms in the company. You know, like I said, I was at a point in my life, you know, um, I've done things with bodybuilding that a lot of people haven't done. I'm going to do it here seven times. Um, I know you have. So, you know, um, now I'm living vicariously through some of my athletes. Like I said, like I said, I've, I've still got the got the fire in me, so I'm um, about to come back one more time, but like I said, it's, it's, uh, that was a good time in my life, and I'm like now transitioning to another part. Good, good, good. So, man, anybody else you want to throw a, uh, a shout out to? Uh, uh, friends, family, so anybody to watch? All, all my friends, I'm going to shout out to Dexter. I need to get ready for you with me, man. Uh, you know, I'm pushing for you. Just get him, dog. Get him. Get him. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Tim Gardner, all these guys, and Gabby. Well, thanks so much for doing the show, finally, man. I really, it's an honor to interview you, Marcus. Definitely. So, V Bodybuilding Show out here at an awesome gym, Fitness One, 91st Avenue. 
definitely check out Marcus Haley on Facebook. Find him on his website at marcushaley.com. If you want to get in shape, join his team. He's got a great little getup too that goes with you know, the team. With, with your orange, I mean, I want one of those hats. You look good, you play good. You play good, you feel good. <laughs> there it is. So I uh, definitely want to thank uh, Fitness One for allowing me to come in here today and do the interview. Obviously, Marcus, Marcus Haley. Uh, Pro Sub, Six Pack Bags, My Oatmeal, Swole Swag Watches, Peter Jungle, Ride Now. Thank you so much for all your support. Thanks for watching. Like it, favorite it, tweet it. You know it. Thank you.